So, you know, winning a bracket could mean big bucks, or it could just win you bragging rights at the office if you are able to beat everybody else. I would rather have the bucks, but that's just me. Now, you got until Thursday morning, but what are your chances of choosing the champs or getting the majority of your Sweet 16 correct? Well, Wake Up Central's McKaylin Johnson is joining us now. McKaylin, what does it take to, one, build a bracket, and two, get a winning one? Well, guys, thanks to a couple people, I have those answers. The one and only you just saw him, Hayden Balgavy, gave me some insider knowledge on how to get your feet wet in the NCAA bracket world. And an expert on all things statistics, UALR professor Hassan El Salouk calculated the numbers for us and found out picking winning teams is way more unlikely than you think, but not impossible. Uh, the chances of filling out a perfect bracket is one in nine point quintillion. You should know that one quintillion is billion of a billion. With those odds, it makes sense why no one has ever created a perfect NCAA bracket. Some advice Dr. Hassan El Salouk and Hayden agree on is the more research you put into your decision, the better the outcome. It takes a lot of, uh, let's just say, homework that goes into it. I really try to be methodical. Take one region at a time. You focus on one region, you focus on one team, one matchup at a time. You start with 68 teams for the first round. As teams knock each other out, it dwindles down to the Sweet 16, Elite Eight, Final Four, and then the National Championship. But you have to start at the beginning. For Hayden, that's an easy choice. I'm not picking against the Hawks. We're going with Arkansas, number four seed, moving on to take on New Mexico State. If brackets could start with your Sweet 16 or Elite 8 picks, the chances of being right would be way more attainable. If we start at the Sweet 16, it's 1 in 32,000. If we start at the Elite 8, the chances are 1 in 128. Although that's not how the game is played, Hayden tells us his Sweet 16 picks are what really matter. I want to get as many Sweet 16 teams right as possible. If I don't get the national champion right, that's really hard to do. I can be okay with that. March Madness is a numbers game. The more matchups that win on your brackets, the more points you get. So picking the winner doesn't have to be your goal, but if you can get some victories along the way, you're doing it right. Well, getting those NCAA brackets in on time is another part of the puzzle. We're inching closing time, but you've got until Thursday morning to complete them, and then the fun begins to see if you can actually beat the odds. Guys, back to you. Here we go, McKaylin. I want to know. We talked about it a little bit. I want a team. Who are you picking? Who are we going with? Who are we picking? I mean, <laughs> Gonzaga, I guess. Aren't they doing good pretty pick. good? <laughs> very good pick. It's a very solid pick, very strategic. I like mm -hmm. where your head's at. Of course, and the Hawks. We got to right. pick them. I'm uh, considering, considering myself an Arkansas native now, so I have to go with the Hawks. <laughs> Here's the bad news. They're in the same bracket. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, pressure's on, pressure's on. I'm just going to flip a coin, yeah. and then we'll pick. That's the way to do it. That's what I'm going to do for brackets, just flip a coin. You there know you what? You may have better odds doing that, considering how well I mean, our honestly, odds are to begin with. Probably yeah. will. Probably will. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, McKaylin. And, hey, a reminder for all the Hogs fans out there, tip-off against Vermont is scheduled for 8:20 Central. That means a 9:20 start in Buffalo on Thursday. That game airing on TNT.